camera i'm using it right now say all is well in the world again i got the same exact camera i have the canon g7x mark iii so i think it's the newest of that model if i'm not mistaken you guys am i focused there we go i am so frustrated because i found the exact the exact garland that i want and it's fake but it looks real so i'm like oh my god like we were gonna get real garland but i'm like if i find good fake garland i'll just buy that so i can use it every year i found the perfect garland it's on kirkland's and i can't ship it to my house i literally did the chat on the website and i was like hi it's only allowing me to ship to the store is there any way that i could get it to ship to my house and she was like the warehouse is sold out so no basically and i'm like great and it's on sale and i want the wreath i literally had two garlands in my cart and the wreath and now i can't get it so i'm like what look at my nails this is why i will not do a video on how i do my nails with the poly gel people keep asking i'm not doing a video until i actually know what i'm doing because you can find you can literally search on all of YouTube for people that actually know how to do it and will give you better tips. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure it out. So until I figure it out, I'm not doing a video because clearly I will not lead you well. So I'm trying to fuck I'm trying to do a video and the uh, the amount of time it takes to export the videos from my phone to my computer is hell like it's literally hell i want to do like the roundup of what my christmas decor is going to be but i need everything here um so tomorrow like i said God. the harmony bells get here the only thing that i need is the garland so maybe today while we're out i don't know if we're going to do anything maybe today if we go anywhere and he, he wants to go for a walk so that if we go anywhere i'll try to stop in stores and see if i can find like really pretty garland i want a very specific style though that's the issue and online the exact one that i want is also sold out on amazon so i'm like it's from the a floral brand i think they still have it on their website show you guys what it looks like i don't want the cedar the cedar is really pretty though but they're like they have like soft touch like one that looks real Norfolk. I think it's sold out here too. Oh, so annoying. This is the style, like the look of the garland that I want. Like I want it really droopy, like this, but I can't find it anywhere. Like, you see the tree? Like, that's the type of garland that I want, and I cannot find it anywhere. Anywhere. 
Like this looks so real. So that's what I want. But they don't have shit. It's all sold out. The people on the internet are crazy because they buy their stuff so early. And mind you, like I'm not decorated at all. This one's iced. I don't want iced. So, yeah, this is my dilemma right now. Because I want this garland. This one. I don't want to settle on a different one. I want that one. I should have bought it a couple weeks ago when I saw it. It's so annoying. Yeah. You guys, am I focused? There we go. I am so frustrated because I found the exact, the exact garland that I want. And it's fake, but it looks real. So I'm like, oh my God, like we were gonna get real garland, but I'm like, if I find good fake garland, I'll just buy that so I can use it every year. I found the perfect garland. It's on Kirkland's. And I can't ship it to my house. I literally did the chat on the website and I was like, hi, it's only allowing me to ship to the store. Is there any way that I could get it to ship to my house? And she was like, the warehouse is sold out. So no, basically. And I'm like, great. And it's on sale and I want the wreath. I literally had two garlands in my cart and the wreath and now I can't get it. So I'm like, what? Look at my nails. This is why I will not do a video on how I do my nails with the poly gel. People keep asking, I'm not doing a video until I actually know what I'm doing because you can find, you can literally search on all of YouTube for people that actually know how to do it and will give you better tips. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure it out. So until I figure it out, I'm not doing a video because clearly I will not lead you well. So I'm trying to fuck. I'm trying to do a video, and the uh, the amount of time it takes to export the videos from my phone to my computer is hell. Like it's literally hell. Um. So it's taking me forever. I've only been able to send like three videos to my laptop, which is annoying. There we go. Um, so once I finish doing that and I export this video and I finish it or whatever, I'm gonna fix my nails because, okay, I'm gonna fix my nails because I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, my bells, my harmony bells that I ordered get here tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I wanna do like the roundup of what my Christmas decor is gonna be, but I need everything here. Um, so tomorrow, like I said, God. the Harmony Bells get here. The only thing that I need is the garland. So maybe today while we're out, I don't know if we're going to do anything. Maybe today, if we go anywhere, and he, he wants to go for a walk so bad. If we go anywhere, I'll try to stop in stores and see if I can find like really pretty garland. I want a very specific style though. That's the issue. And online, the exact one that I want is also sold out on Amazon. So I'm like, it's from the A Floral brand. I think they still have it on their website. show you guys what it looks like i don't want the cedar the cedar is really pretty though but they're like they have like soft touch like one that looks real A 
floral. It's Norfolk. I think it's sold out here too. This is the style, like the look of the garland that I want. Like I want it really droopy, like this, but I can't find it anywhere. Like you see the tree, like that's the type of garland that I want and I cannot find it anywhere, anywhere. Like this looks so real, so that's what I want. But they don't have shit. It's all sold out. The people on the internet are crazy because they buy their stuff so early. And mind you, like, I'm not decorated at all. This one's iced. I don't want iced. So, yeah, this is my dilemma right now. Because I want this garland. This one. I don't want to settle on a different one. I want that one. I should have bought it a couple weeks ago when I saw it. So annoying. Yeah. I'm ending the week at... Let's see. I have put, I think, how much this week into 500 towards credit card debt and then for savings i put i put 250 in savings which is great my biggest thing is paying my cards down so i can start putting more towards savings but on my list um i had i talked about it in one of the videos that's on my phone but I'm over it already. Um, so I had ordered the vintage bells, which I think I told you about. I ordered the feathers for my little DIY thing. And I ordered a, I don't know where it is right now, a um, pedestal. I ended up not having to spend any dollars because with my Amex, I had points and your points can be used as dollars for Amazon. So. I ended up getting an outfit that I really, really wanted. I had, think I mentioned as well. I've been wanting, I'll show you guys right here, a like pleated crinkly outfit. And I looked on so many websites to see if I could get one that was either like higher quality than like the ones that are on like Shein, Boohoo, all those places. I refuse to buy things from there. I, I am not. I will not order from Shein, from Boohoo, from Fashion Nova. I won't do it. No, will not. It's disposable clothing. The clothing isn't that great of quality. And I, you guys know, I like to rewear my clothes over and over again. So I'm just going to show you guys my Pinterest real quick. And on my Pinterest, I have a private, um, like, board that I've been adding things that I want to add to my wardrobe. Um, and so it's one of these little outfits. And I have wanted it. I pinned it, like maybe 15 times i just keep pinning it because i love it so freaking much and i'm like okay you know what i clearly really really want it and i'm gonna try to find a really good quality one i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now i've pinned it so many times that i'm trying to find like the clearest one that you'll be able to see like one of these little outfits i'm sure you guys have seen them everywhere i want one i want one and I have this idea in my head and I want to wear it either for, like I said, Christmas Eve or something because it's super comfortable with like a sparkly heel, my drop down snowflake earrings, like just super cute and holiday and festive. But I could also wear it on vacation. I can wear it with a bikini underneath. Like I can wear it multiple times. I can wear the pants by themselves. I can wear the top by itself. Um, so I had looked for hours on literally Google. I just Googled and I was like crinkle set, pleated set. Every single one that I found, they had them at all different price points, but all of them were the exact same fabric. It was like a polyester and elastic blend, I think. So the one that I found that I was like, okay, this is the one I'm going to get. I think it was like 70 something. 
And I was like, okay, this one's a little bit more than the others, but let me just look at the fabric to see if it's any different than what I could get on Amazon, for example. And I don't buy too many clothes on Amazon. I bought like a couple things, but I don't have like a ton of clothing from Amazon. And they were all the same quality. So I ended up just getting the one on Amazon, got it with my points, so I didn't spend any money on it. So I basically bought the Harmony Bells, the wood pedestal, the outfit, the feathers for my DIY, and I spent zero dollars. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. So I was super excited about that because I got everything that I wanted to get, but I didn't spend dollars. I only spent my points. And I actually still have $25 from last week. And it's about to refresh for this week. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that as well. I, um... The only things left that I want to get that I have listed are here. The bralette top that I want. Uh, the K ornament and then like the Christmas tree lights and all that stuff. Everything else as far as Christmas decor I already have. Which I'm going to do like a whole haul on but like I bought this guy. Which I love him so much. I bought the pedestal that's right here. I just have it holding. I have it decorated, so I just have it holding like little candles. And then I'm gonna do like a whole haul. Like I'm gonna do like a big collective haul of everything that I bought within the last couple of months. Cause like I said, like you guys know, I don't really shop too often. I have my little set right here, which I'm super excited about. I have my new bodysuit. So I'm gonna do just like a whole collective haul of all the things that I bought throughout all of this time. Also gonna do a video of I have my feathers right here for my blazer. But yeah, like I said, I'm also gonna do a Christmas decor video of what I end up getting once I get everything, which hopefully today I can get the garland and that's kind of all I'm missing, like for decorations because I already went through my storage and we found a whole bunch of stuff from all the past years. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much done today. If I can get garland and a wreath, I'm gonna get that. I have a wreath from, Lenny, come on. Let's go outside. I have a wreath that I bought a couple years ago, but it's a um, flocked wreath. And I kind of want just like a, a regular green wreath. Like I don't want snow on it. So yeah, I figured if I get a regular wreath and then I'll have my flocked wreath whenever throughout the years if I want to switch it up, I can. And I want to get wreaths for inside. I have so many ideas that I want to do and I just, I need the greenery. I don't have the greenery so i need that but yeah and i can't do a lot until we get our christmas tree which we can't get until december 1st so yeah i think i'm gonna end up decorating i don't know decorating all of my stuff and then doing the christmas tree in another video or something i don't know okay so we just got back from taking Lenny on a walk and I need to fix my nails. I'm not gonna walk you through what I'm doing because I am not good at it yet. There's something on this, but I got this drill. Everything literally that I use for my nails is on my Amazon storefront. So I'll link that specific, like the page of my storefront down below. But I got this drill and it has sped up the process so much because I used to just file and file and file and file and file. Oh, we gotta go to Harbor Freight. Where? Harbor Freight. I don't it's remember. It's a cool store, but it's right next to the middle. Oh, huh. so what you're saying is... I don't know, maybe let's get thrifty today, but... Well, but technically my budget has restarted. So... You showered? Yeah. yeah I'm not sure I just wanna fix my... A few nails that broke off because I can't walk around looking crazy. I'm very gentle with this thing because I don't want to ruin my nails. And I didn't, I just read the instructions that came with the, the, the manual. And just based on like what I felt like was working when I did my nails the other day, that's kind of how I've been navigating like which bits to use. Like I said, I don't have the hang of it at all. I'm learning, but little by little and with practice, I will figure it out. And I've gotten it to the point that I can at least do it quickly, but clearly 
that doesn't do anything for me. I'm using some primer right now, but I promise you guys, I promise, once I get it figured out, I promise I will do a video. But I'm just not there yet. I need to get a new top and base coat because mine are getting kind of old and yucky. You're supposed to clean up the edges with a brush and alcohol. I just don't feel like getting that. You put it under the light. And while that's curing, it makes the gel super hard. So it'll sound like this. Like. And then once you pop off the little clear thing, this just like pops right off. Like it's not glued down. You take this and you just peel it off. And you have a, I don't know if you can see. A clear little nail. They also sell these in different colors. I just, I don't feel like doing that. I just use the clear and then paint whatever so now i'm doing my pinky again very little bit let me stick the form on it's like a really thick paste you're talking about me a thick paste oh i thought you said a really thick beast oh my god no oh. talking about my nails Fixed my nails, we're back in business. Fixed my hair, also back in business. Got dressed, not wearing makeup. I wore a full face yesterday, so I just don't feel like it. Thank you, I'm wearing your shorts. You are? Yep, wearing Tyler's what? sweat shorts. Let me look at me. There was a big ass stain on these things. Like right here, big ass coffee stain. I can't know if you can see it that way. Not there. Huh? Oh, there's one right here, but I don't care. I have a long shirt on it anyway. But anyways, here's my OOTD. So it's this oversized button-up from Nordstrom. This tiny little crop tee that is very old from Zara. Tyler's shorts. I'm pretty sure I bought these for him. Did I? Maybe. Yeah. And then, yeah, I was going to say most likely because... Put that in the hamper. Um, got my bag. I have on a Dior. I got it like in gratis like a hundred years ago. A Dior lip gloss. I am so thirsty. So hungry. I have my comforter. That's my Casa Luna comforter. I found it in storage. And I was like, oh shit. We should take that out. Um... Here's the, the full, there you go. So just comfy, I did not want to wear anything tight. I wore jeans all day yesterday with heels and a bodysuit. So today is just comfy. And then my clean hair. I um, am basically out of my lotion and I don't want to buy another one because it's gonna take a lot of my budget. Yeah, and because we're trying to go to like, well not trying, because we have about 75 stores to go to. Yeah. And all yeah. stores that you hate. Yeah. <laughs> go to the Mall of Millennia area. Okay. We can pick something to eat there. Okay. We have to go to, we can go to the Target that's there. Okay. We can go to the Home Depot that's there. Okay. And we can go to the, um... Floor and Decor or something like that? No. Um, uh, Ikea. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so in the Millennia area... Wow, I left my phone. Wait, wait, let me check first. 
I don't even know where my phone is. I mean, do I really need it? I don't. I'm with you. I'll grab your phone and call my phone. Yeah, it doesn't recognize my face, which I got no cards. Careful. I know. I'll be right back. You can talk to the camera if you want. Yeah. Get food. Home Depot. Target. Ikea. Then we'll shoot over to OBT. Jesus Christ. Hit Northern Tool. Harbor Freight. Goodwill. Back home. Now, what to eat? I don't know. That's the quality about now. Did you find it because of my calling? No. I picked it up as you were calling, but my phone's always on silent, so. Sorry? Um, okay, so I figured out the rotate the order in which we're gonna do things. Okay. First, we're gonna go to Millennia. Okay. Then we're gonna feed you. We get some food. We're gonna go to the Millennia area. Area. And then, okay. Then, and then we're gonna get food first. First, yes. First. Then we're gonna go to Home Depot. Okay. Once we leave Home Depot, I gotta do something that you like to do, so we're gonna go to Target. Okay. Once we leave Target, we'll go to Ikea, and that'll be the last thing we really have to do in that area. Got it. Once we're done with Ikea, we will shoot over to OBT. To that other store. Hit Northern Tool real quick, just to look, but I don't think they're gonna have anything that I really want. I'll be able to run in real quick and just run right out. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna go to Harbor Freight, and I'll be able to just get what I need to get and dip. Mm -hmm. And then um, we can leave from there. Oh, and Goodwill if you wanted to hit the Goodwill. That's right there. Mm -hmm. I need to get a new tripod for the yeah, you camera. Yeah, because your camera's about to go flying. Man. Yeah. Just broke. I used to have one that like hung from here, but you always used to take it off. So there's Chipotle. Chipotle. That there's... Chipotle's gonna give me the itis. Okay. Yes. It's like you can't select the size burrito if you want. They just can give you a big ass one and then you have to eat the whole thing. Yeah, that's why I don't get burritos because you have to, I love this area so much. It's so cute. I mean, we've walked through here, I'm sure. I don't think we came all, all the way down here. Like, up and down some of this. We've walked, we walked past this, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, many times. Yeah. Where does it take you to four way? Yeah. Probably. You know how I am. I say I'm hungry until I'm not hungry anymore. It's very annoying. Careful. The fuck are you doing, dumb shit? That's why He's do. allowed to ride his bike. Not through a fucking intersection while there's a red light. Like, he doesn't have the right of way on the road. The house is for some reason. It's actually really big. There's, you know where I always get um, house alerts from? Lake Homo? Always. I'm like, wouldn't that be funny if we moved somewhere called Lake Como, seeing as we got married in Italy? Be a quinky dink. I feel like shit needs to be perfectly centered. Like, that's where it needs to be, but it will fly, especially because Tyler thinks he's a race car driver most days. No. Yes. You're trying to balance something on the dashboard. Put your phone up there and watch. Your phone will go flying around, too. Anything would go flying. Well. I want a cronut. Oh. Can I put on my Christmas wish list a box of cronuts? Well, I have to see what the, the flavor of the month is. They ship. 
Oh. They just started shipping. It'd be perfect if I had a cake stand. I could display my cronuts. You'll eat one and then. Uh, no. Not of a cronut. I'm actually about to look. Dominique. Anzal. Website. They're opening a whole bunch of different. Um, we're shipping at last. You know how much I had to expand operation to probably do that? Well, they also opened a Hong Kong location, so I'm pretty sure they have the funds. Four piece cronut gift box. I, this is going on my Christmas list. The November flavor is pumpkin pie and brown sugar. It's probably fucking fire. Pumpkin pie ganache and or pumpkin pie ganache and brown sugar ganache. December mandarin orange jam and dark chocolate ganache. I don't want fruit flavored. Las frutas. I don't want a fruit flavored cronut. I got the guava last time just because it was all I could get. Yeah. And it was still good. Yeah, but, it was but I want like a chocolate one or like something with like vanilla cream ganache. Honestly, I'll take even a plain one. Right. Oh my god. Like, Plain would be the ass. best Fuck. and the fact that they only release that flavor of the month and that's the only flavor you can get that entire month One of our models for BNC Alasia She said that William Sonoma Every year for Christmas comes out with a croissant Like kit yeah. Or no frozen they're like frozen croissants and she's like they are the best croissants I've ever had They only do them during Christmas time. So guess what we're getting? Sonoma William Sonoma croissants and I found a um, like a boiling like you know how like during the holidays people will boil like cinnamon sticks or whatever and it will fill the house I found a thing that gives you the exact scent that they have in William Sonoma that and I remember William Sonoma smells good. during Christmas oh my god it's happiness is what it smells like my store when I worked it's in New York scenic route it is it's cute what is this, Soto? Yeah. Um, the store, when I worked in Sea Wonder in New York, we shared the wall with William Sonoma. Yeah. So we got like all their scent. They used to come, like their workers, because they, during the holidays, they'll cut up like um, peppermint bark and like have it for sample for like customers. Anything that was left over, they would bring boxes of it over to us and they'd be like, oh, we didn't finish all the peppermint bark or the gingerbread cookies or whatever so we would have in our back room like in the in the manager's office like piles of William Sonoma Christmas delights yo this is where the protests remember that I converged right here I actually don't that was all a blur to me because it was so intense what I remember the most is going through Paramore but you didn't come that day. That was me, Brendolyn, and Brendolyn's brother. That was crazy. That was a crazy experience. But you're talking about the time that it was me, you, and Fame, right? Yeah. Well, guys, my battery died on my camera and I didn't bring one of the four spare batteries that I have. So we just got to Panera. Um, one second, please. Um, you can pick any sandwich. I'm down. And then salad. Or we could just do the mac and cheese. So we can do... I'm done with, with whichever sandwich you want. I don't. Uh, you're the hungry one. Okay, but what sandwich sounds good to you? I don't care. Do the chipotle chicken avocado melt? Sure. Okay, so do the chipotle chicken avocado melt and then a... Can I do the chipotle chicken avocado melt? The chipotle chicken avocado melt? Is that a full or half? A full. And then the mac and cheese. And then, uh, full? yes. Okay. And then the mac and cheese. Is the mac and cheese small or large? Small. Yeah. And then can okay, we do so drinks? Um, I, can I also, you, you want water? Yes, please. Um, can I also get one bottle of water? A bottle of water? Yeah, and 
I'm gonna try that uh, Fuji apple cranberry. I'll take a that regular. That sounds delicious. Is it a large or a regular? Regular. Okay. That's it. Okay, so it's $27.70. Oh, Alright. Total is $4 million. Alright. So, we ordered an avocado chicken. Do you wanna open up? melt thing. Ooh, I love when they give you chips on the side of your sandwich instead of bread. You, when you go to Panera and you get a sandwich and they give you a side of bread, you're like, <laughs> like, why? Oh, and we got the mac and cheese because Panera's mac and cheese is top tier. I like this bread. Avocado is so good. It's so creamy. What? Mm. Those chips. This shit is hot. Can I get the first taste? It's hot? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's salt. It is so hot. Yeah, it's hot. Hot. I like my food hot next. Yeah, me too. I don't I don't understand how people eat like room temperature food. I like my food like burning my mouth. Yeah, no. If, if, it, if it's un unedible, like you can't eat it because it's so hot, that's not how I like it. Mm -hmm. No, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Burn my mouth. Somebody at the Friendsgiving yesterday made biscuits and gravy. Holy. Biscuit and gravy is slapper. We'll get that. Biscuits and gravy. I made orzo pasta salad. Imai made macaroni salad. Uh, Laura, Laura, I think, they brought cheesecake, pumpkin cheesecake, and rice. There was Jamaican beef patties, meatballs, pernil. Pernil. There was so much food. This is a good area to live in. Um, what from that big ass piece of bread? You want it? When I was super broke. Oh man, like super, super, super rock. I will go to Panera. Get that, that's it. That'd be my lunch. And I'd spend like five bucks. That was when I worked in Millennia, in the mall. So 
I love bread so much. It's so good. It's so good. Are you gonna make your casserole for Thanksgiving? Casserole? Your chicken pot pie. Why? What if I want to come out with another dish? Wow, well, then with a different dish. I don't know what I should make. Mm. I can make the cornbread casserole because that's easy. Well, maybe I'll just bring the brownies back. Mm. People like brownies. And your brownies are really good. You haven't baked in a long time. I haven't baked at all in this new house. Mm -hmm. And there's a convection oven there. I should. I want to bake cookies this year. I want to bake something. I want to learn how to bake. What? So I can use my cake stand that I don't have. Yeah, we need. Hmm. Mixer? Cake stand. Mm -hmm. You've wanted one for a while. I remember when we first met. Yeah. You said you wanted one. I want some three hundred dollars. So. I know. Would you bake more if you had it? This was the perfect amount of food. Yeah. Like, I'm not full. I just took the hunger away. Which that's what I, I follow this um older lady on TikTok. She's like an intuitive eating coach. And she says all the time, she's like, the problem is that we don't trust our bodies enough to know when we're hungry and when we're full. I mean, not you. You're very good at this. Um... So we'll eat just to eat but she's like your body literally starts telling you like hey i'm hungry i'm getting hungry and your job is to take the hunger away like not eat until you're ready to explode but just like quiet it down and then in a little while it'll talk again and then you quiet it down yeah i just have to shut up <laughs> wait because of um, mac all right, so we're back home. It's already getting dark. Did you tell them that we your camera died? Yeah, because remember I vlogged a little bit at my home. Um, so yeah, we're back home. I don't know what it is, and I'm sure you guys can relate. Look at me. Look like I need sleep. Running errands as an adult, just driving places literally makes you exhausted me and tyler were talking about it we were like what is it about being a grown-up and running errands that just makes you so tired like so tired and literally it's already getting dark over here where's my tripod i want to show you guys what i got um i think i spent i'm still under my budget but i i bought a couple things so we ended up going to target home depot um, we stopped in Goodwill. I didn't see anything that I liked and Ikea So let me just prop you guys up real quick the thing that I was looking for period today was garland. Um, that's all I wanted All I wanted was garland. That's it. I found no garland. So I'm gonna show you what I got instead A lot of glass things so First, I will show you Ikea. So I didn't think I was gonna get anything at Ikea. I thought that because it's a European store, they might have the garland that I wanted, but they didn't. So I got other little glass things instead. So first thing I got was this jar here and I wanted this just for like storage in the fridge. I should have gotten more of them to be honest because this is good to store like sauces if you make like a a dressing or something i don't know where this goes um a salad dressing and you want to save it or you make something small that you can store like away in one of these i just i was like it's perfect and i want to switch everything over from plastic to glass because it's just better it's easier to keep clean um you can put it in the microwave if you need to you know all that stuff so anyways, so I got 
one of these little plus or glass jars. I wish I would have gotten two. Next time we go to Ikea, we don't ever go to Ikea because it's just not near us. Is this one right? I don't know. There we go. So that's it right there. I just figured this would be really nice to store anything in the fridge, period. So I got this, even if like you're going to, let's say you're, you're going to a party and it's like a potluck, let's say you make like a big salad and you don't wanna drench the salad in the dressing yet, um, it's better to usually dress the salad once you're already there. You can put the dressing in here, it fits a lot, and then you just dress the salad and then throw this in your bag. So I got that. I also got one of these. I've always wanted these and I again, I wish I would've gotten at least four of them, but I was trying to stay under the budget. And this is to hold just like liquids. Like Tyler drinks whole milk, so the gallon I don't think would fit in here. So I think I would use this for like my creamer or if I ever made something and I wanted to store it, I could put it in here. Again, glass. There we go. Opens like that and I just love it. It reminds me, this is something that I would see in like Amsterdam and that's just what I want my life to be. So got this. I think this was like $2. And I think this was like $3. And then this was a random purchase. Um, but I got these wine glasses. I've always loved the shape of these. And I have these on my Pinterest so many times in like different tabs. And not even because of the glass. It's just the pictures of the wine just look really pretty with the decorations. And these are always in there. So I got two of these. Um, these are for my white wine um, because I already have red wine glasses. My white wine glasses needed to be replaced. So... So what they look like here. I love the shape. It's just fun, different. Again, reminds me of Amsterdam. So I got that. Then at Target, I don't know what it was, but Tyler was like, you have to get this. And this is German. It's a German thing. And it's, I forgot what Tyler calls it. I gotta ask him. What was it he called it? Okay, apparently it's Das Boot, I don't know, but this is what they usually drink like beer in. Um, we're not beer drinkers, Tyler doesn't drink beer like really ever, but I thought that for Christmas I could fill this up with like candy or put like Ferrero Rocher's or like little Hershey Kisses, maybe like red wrapping paper, Hershey Kisses and just put it somewhere. I just thought it was so cute, it was $5 in the dollar spot and I wanted, I want to keep bringing in his traditions as well, like German traditions. Um, we already have the pickle ornament for the Christmas tree and that's like an that's an ornament that's a German uh, tradition but I want to keep adding little things especially if one day we have a child they could have the best of both they could have German traditions and Puerto Rican traditions so got this little boot glass as well and then I couldn't find garland like I said but I found these and I was so happy about them these were the um, I think these are the Studio McGee and threshold pretty sure um stems these are the cedar stems i literally just want garland that looks like this like i want this type of leaf like a nice full fluffy looking leaf but i'm gonna put these in a uh a vase i don't know what vase i have this like brown color vase over here but it's like chipping and all that but i was wondering like okay maybe if i painted this black or something and then stuck these they're very 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 tall i would have to like bend them but in something like this it would be pretty like yeah like that um so i got these stems don't know where i'm gonna put them yet but this is literally what i want in my garland like i want something fluffy and nice and realistic looking and all that so yeah, that's what I picked up today and love it all. Super cute. Um, what did I spend at Ikea? Let me look at my... At Target, I spent 37 and at Ikea, I think I spent 20 bucks. So um, if it wasn't for last week rolling over and me having another $25, I would have went over my budget already. But I have last week's budget that I didn't complete. I want wine just to drink it out of these. I want it right now um but yeah that's everything i'm gonna put all this stuff away and i need to do some laundry and just finish that stuff also my gold bells are 
delivering today, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'll show you guys those once they get here and I'll link them for you. So anyways, I'm gonna, I need to finish editing as well. So I'm gonna finish doing that, clean up a little bit, put all this stuff in the dishwasher so it can get washed and get to editing. Guys, I love being able to walk everywhere. I'm walking to like this convenience store that we have because I wanna have a little bottle of wine. Like I want like some cold white wine. So I love that I'm close enough that I can do that. Let's see what I find. Okay, I got my wine. I got red though and I got airheads. I'm very excited because I ordered garland. It's not the garland that I originally wanted, but what I'm thinking is that I can use, it, it's like beautiful garland. It's a cedar garland, so it matches the stems that I just got. So because I wanna put them, like I wanna put garland along this, like going all the way around and also, look at Leonard, he's so pissed. And also like any archway that we have, I wanna put garland, so I'm gonna need multiple. like. I'm gonna need a lot of garlands. So I'm thinking that the cedar one I can put on our entertainment center because there's stuff on our entertainment center like our sound bar and all that stuff. So the garland I just bought, I'll put a picture right here. I'm gonna put that on our entertainment center and then if I can get the Norfolk pine, I'm going to use that around, if there's this one, so this is where I wanna put it. I wanna put one here because I love the view of the dining room. So I'm gonna put one here, and then I'm gonna put one here. This is like to go to the bedrooms and the guest bathroom. So that's what I'm thinking that I'm gonna do. And then here, granted there's stuff on here right now, but this is the entertainment center, the TV console, whatever. So I think I'm gonna put the garland that I just bought along here, and it's lit. It's pre-lit with micro lights, which I'm really excited about. And my bells are gonna deliver how many? How many more like stops does it have? You know how Amazon now will like tell you how many stops until your product delivers? Let me take a look. Five stops away. So as soon as it gets here, I will show it to you guys. But right now I am working on just getting this vlog uploaded. I really want to get it up tonight. Lenny was barking nonstop. So I know my bells are here. You guys, I am so excited. I've wanted these since last year. Hold on, Wellies. I am so excited. This is not for you, sir. I am so excited. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm so sorry, the lighting in here is actually the color orange. It's atrocious, but this is in my house, so. You guys have no idea. I am so excited. Like, so excited. You guys, this candle, I don't think it's out anymore. It was from Aldi. I showed it to you guys a while back. Number one, lime, basil, and mandarin. Gorgeous scent. Gorgeous. It's about to be done, but. Wow. Oh my God. So exciting. I almost ordered, guys, it's so crazy. I almost ordered two, and I was like, no, let me just get one and make sure I like them, and now the price went up. These are gorgeous. Wow. So there's three. Tell me this does not give you like if Game of Thrones had Christmas. Just 
handcrafted in India. Beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but what I originally wanted to do was tie them to garland, but these are like heavy. Like, they have some weight to them, so I might put them on our front door. I'm not really sure yet, but I am in love with them. You can even put them like, for example. I have a candle on this little wood pedestal. Like you can put it on the pedestal, you can lay it down, you can, you know? So I'm gonna put these in my room because I'm hoarding everything for my Christmas haul, like my Christmas decor haul. I'm hoarding it all in my room. Like this with this, no, it's just too much, it's too much. I'm so happy about that. So whilst I continue my editing process, I'm waiting for Tyler to come home. He went to the tattoo shop. We were out all day shopping for stuff for the shop. Um, so he went to go like build everything. And he just called me a few minutes ago. And this, we have this to make for dinner, okay? And it's eight o'clock, it's late. Garlic herb butter steak and lobster tails with lemony broccoli and chive roasted potatoes like that sounds Divine and I am so hungry and I already asked him like when are you coming home? Like I'm hungry. I want to eat But obviously he's gonna want to eat too So I have to wait for him and steak and lobster like you need to eat that fresh So I'm gonna eat some of my spicy hummus that I'm obsessed with and some pretzels while I wait for him And I continue editing this vlog It's gonna take a lot of my budget Hello, Wendy's. Oh. Hello. Hello, Wendy's. Come here. Good boy. Okay. Wow. Wow. Why are you doing that? You don't do that. You only give kisses. Thank you. No, you don't do thank you. Good boy. Good boy, please. All right, so I'm finally getting my video together. I am about to, Tyler's home. So I'm like, finally, I can start dinner. It's 8.45, guys. We never eat dinner this late. I'm also drinking this Campo Viejo Rioja is a really, really good, I, I, I feel like it's on the cheaper side. It's like $13 wine. Very, very good. If you like bitter wine, I have my little aerator in it. It's game changing. Um, this is my one of my sister's favorite wines. So I'm aerating it right now. So yeah, I'm finishing this off. Well, I'm not finishing it. There's still a lot left, but. Just sealing it up. But a very good wine. They sell it basically everywhere. Trader Joe's, Publix, I, everywhere. But that is my last glass for the evening and I'm just gonna drink it while I cook. I haven't had wine in the house in weeks, like in weeks. And I've actually liked it. I've liked giving it a break, um, like just having like a cocktail or two during the weekend and that's it because, you know. I um, also, one of my favorite things about the wine subscription that I have is that during the holidays, an, a very easy gift, the, one of my favorite gifts anyway, is either getting someone that you know like enjoys wine, getting them a nice bottle of wine and a candle or a nice bottle of wine and new glasses. So I think I have two months of my subscription that like basically credits and right before Christmas I will redeem it. I might wait till like the week the first week of December, right around that time. 
sorry the lighting sucks in here i will redeem it and then i'll have probably like eight to ten bottles of wine and i will use that as part of the gift for whoever i'm giving to i'll probably give like one to each of my sisters maybe one to my mom you know it's great to bring as like a hostess gift if you're gonna bring to a party so i love my wine subscription i use the wink wine subscription i got it for my mom for mother's day one year and then i just kept using it for myself once the year was up it's a really really good subscription if you're somebody that likes wine if you like to bring a bottle of wine to a party i think every month it's 59.99 and you can redeem that for as many bottles of wine as you can get it's usually about four bottles of wine and i like having it so that i don't have to go to the store to pick up wine if my friends invite me over and i'm like oh perfect i can bring a bottle of wine you have the wine already home so anyways i'm about to start making this it's gonna be so good i think i might make like a side salad as well just because i have the vegetables to do it so i'm gonna speed through me making dinner
All right, so we finished dinner, we cleaned up the kitchen, loaded the dishwasher, have the dishes going. The psycho has eaten and I'm about to finish up this vlog. Wow, this lighting is so bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog back. Um, and me and Tyler are going to Panera. Where's what? the cup that was right there? Put it in the sink. You didn't say you wanted to keep it out. I want to put it in the dishwasher. Oh. Well, anyways, so I will see you guys in the next vlog.